Today is day three of inpatient. We want to see whether the red ear slider is moving on, uh, swimming or not. So far, you can see the appetite is there. Now, normally they will swim towards the foot if they're healthy. Eh? But uh, you can see this one doesn't swim towards any food. It has appetite. It came in, the owner thinks that she is constipated. That means there's no, no, no stools pass out for many, many days or weeks. But you can see there's a bit of appetite, but uh, turn, turn, turn towards the food. Yeah, turn, turn a bit, uh, shift a bit towards the food. Yeah. We are sunning her up so that she can uh, have some sunlight. Sunlight has vitamin D uh, to help in the development of the bone. You see? She add, yeah, it, if the pellets are close enough, but she can't uh, swim towards it. Uh, she's drinking water. Uh, there's one there, one pellet eaten. Sort of see, see whether you put, put her closer or uh, uh, not, not. See whether she can walk towards it. Swim. Pull her, push her closer towards one of the pellets again. Which one you put? This side uh, on the on the left, um, on this side. Or, or push a pellet closer to her, either way. Uh. Okay. Uh, that might don't be do, so just push a pellet closer to her. Push, push her uh, backwards a bit. Uh, okay. Uh, it seems that she can't move much to, to uh, eat her. Normally they can swim towards it if they, ha they are normal. Especially yeah, so such an old one. Huh? Uh, so, in this case, we are saved the trouble of having to, to, to swing feed her because she actually can eat. But uh, if you don't put near, she can't eat, you see. That's why she lost a lot of weight and is considered emaciated. Uh, probably use a spoon, uh, your, hand, yeah, your hand clean. Uh, that's not the spoon, where's the spoon? Don't use a hand. Put, put, put someone in, put someone in first. Eh? 10 more. 10, 20, I mean, let her eat as much as she can. Uh. Very near to her. Yeah. Ah, you see, these are fresh ones. Close the, close the, close the container to keep it fresh. Yeah. I will have the video for you, you don't have the video. Yeah. Just make sure that you eat how many, then you must count, you know. Do you, do you remember to count? Just count now, how many are there now? What happens is once they melted down, it's very hard to to, to count. Got 30, you know. Okay, some scoop as near to her as possible so that she can finish eating. And uh, yeah, that's good. Don't do, don't put your hand in. Really, I don't need your hand clean or not. Just scoop nearer, nearer. Until it's all finished, and we put someone in. Uh, that's how you count how many she eats. Uh. Now if she's constipated, she drinks water, it's, it's good for her. Normally we put some oil in to uh, nice electricity. Huh? Come, take out your spoon, I, I'm videoing. I think you're blocking me from videoing. No. Don't don't block me from videoing. Really. Just, just scoop from the other side, then eh? far end. Uh. So, we, we haven't seen her walking so so she might have some problems internally but appetite definitely is, is there if, if, if you can uh, put it close to her and and the things that you must have the patience to do it there eh? somehow you calm me already just not we give probably another 20 uh. Uh, just just sweep it uh, Sweep it in front of her, that's good, yeah, you see? I mean, although she's emaciated, it means very thin, not bone thin, no fat at all. But appetite is there, you see? Appetite is there. Just, just scoop the, the, scoop it up and uh, scoop it up. Uh.
the then thing said you must have time to do all this. Uh. If you have no time then then the red ear slider is so skinny because if you have no time to to put the food near to her, she can't eat. You. But at least today she's more active. Uh. It's day three already. We gave antibiotics as well. Uh. Uh, the X-ray shows that the stomach is is uh, impacted with food. So she might have some trouble with the stomach earlier on. Yeah. Owner says she eats 10 pellets a day. Of course, obviously, it's not enough. Yeah. 10 pellets barely can survive. According to the owner, he, he based on the volume of the head. So he thinks 10 pellets is the same as the volume of the head. The volume of the head definitely is more than 10 pellets, as you can see. Yeah. Although it's a guide, I suppose we're glad. Ah, finish it off first. Ah, okay, 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 just let her be first. So get ready some more. Count up 10 by 10, 20 by 20. Yeah. Don't use your hand, don't touch with your hands again. Try to be clean. Don't don't use and yeah, don't put back again, don't put back. Estimate how many? 20. Hmm? Okay. Obviously, don't put the spoon in front of her. She, can't, she only eats from the water. She cannot eat directly from the spoon. Let's put in the water. Huh? Still very hungry, you can see that. Huh? So, once she can move, then then she 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 able to shit. If she can shit and move, that means she has recovered. The, the cause could be some infection earlier on. Okay, just make sure uh, she can move a bit there. That's pretty good. Yeah. Wow, wow, not bad. Okay, I'm maybe full already. Go further down to the deep end and see the deep end of the water. See whether I can swim or not. Can swim? Uh, you see, that, that's the danger of uh, putting the radius slider inside the deep end of the water because if they can't swim, I mean, they cannot stay there for forever. They will, do, they will have to come out and breathe. No? So that was what the owner was worried. You see, it just it just doesn't move. You see, so that's why I say you you, you have to put it up here, upper end here. Uh, uh, then let her have the sun nearer to the pellets, of course. Okay, we will tilt the, the thing back. Let's come put, put it further back here, up here. Up, up uh, horizontal, yeah. Horizontal, at least she she can breathe. Only, the only thing is that the water is too much. Uh. Take a scoop and scoop up half the water. They're going to get a scoop. Ask, ask, ask Sue, yeah. So that at least the head is above the water. Uh, if, if she can't swim or move, I better not submerge in. Okay, I stop.